virtual room. My name is Jackie Host, and today I'm bringing another shaving video. And the soap I'm going to be showcasing to you guys today is a pretty new release, maybe a couple months old. And this is from Declaration Grooming, Noble Otter, and Mammoth so Ma House of Mammoth. Correction, this is Cerberus. This, like as I just said, this is a three way collab between uh, Declaration Grooming, Noble Otter, and House of Mammoth. Declaration provided the soap base and milk steak. Mammoth, um, House of Mammoth produced the scent. And the Noble Otter aspect of this is the aftershave. Um, this is obviously in the milk steak base. I've had some issues with the milk steak base in the past. Um, I find that it has quite a lot of base funk on some scents. There are some scents that are base heavy enough to kind of cover up that funk, but some that aren't really base heavy, the funk is there and it annoys me. Fortunately, this doesn't have the problem. The scent of this, for me, is a sandalwood forward scent. There are nuances that I would describe as quite sweet and a little bit resinous. There's a poppinax and lanthanum in this. Um, there's a bit of patchouli, which I think gives like, gives like the sandalwood a bit of groundedness in terms of making it a little bit earthy and a bit drier. Um, this is not a creamy sandalwood. This is not what I would define as kind of like a synthetic sandalwood accord. This, this smells like sandalwood. Um, he's done a very good job on this. There is a stone fruit note in this and there is a little bit of sweetness. Maybe that's coming from that, but predominantly what I get is a sandalwood forward scent with um, slightly earthy nuances with a nice, almost subtle resinous aspect to it. It's it's a really nice scent. The scent strength on the soap is probably about about a six and a half out of ten. Um, it's quite strong. It's quite potent, specifically for brands that aren't first time shaven A and E. Um, it's one of the stronger scents I think I've smelt from Decoration anyway. So that's going to be our soap today, and this is Cerberus by Lat Trio. A razor. The razor I'm going to use today. Something you're not used to seeing me use on the channel. This is a vintage razor. This is a shit. I forgot the the model name. In fact, I'll put it in the uh, in the description. Does it say on here? It doesn't. It just gives the patent number. Hold on. No, it doesn't. It doesn't give me the model. But I'll I'll put the model in the description below. And maybe you even know the model. Um, this was lent to me by my good friend DK Damfine Shave. Uh, he is a shit connoisseur. He loves his shit. So I'm going to be using that on video today. The brush I'm going to be using is my Declaration B6, which as you can see, has already been loaded. This is the Autumn Glory handle cover. So let's get the glasses off here, and we'll get to uh, kind of like lathering up. I'm using warm water today. I don't, I don't normally use warm. I, I typically shave with cold water, or at least like room temperature water. But it's quite, it's actually quite chilly here. Um, Probably, I mean, it's pouring with rain, which I don't, I don't mind too much, you know. But uh, it's quite cold, so warm water it is. Yeah, the sandalwood is particularly quite dry, and I think it's because that it has like a patchouli note supporting it. But it's not like what I would describe as a cakey or chocolatey patchouli. It's more of a kind of like an essential oil patchouli, which adds like this earthy dryness to it. Let it get to lathering up here. This is as pasty as you're ever going to get. But uh, you guys know me, I'm not scared to incorporate water in my lather. Let me fill the sink. See, so faucet haters don't need to deal with it. Something else I've found in the past with milk steak is that it, it eventually just dies because it can't take the amount of water. And the way I typically get over that is just loading it a bit heavy. I didn't load too long here. So I need to be cognizant about the water additions. 
still pretty dry. As you can see, that's not a problem. Yeah, this is a, uh, as of recording, which is uh, Monday, I'm recording this. I forgot, I forgot the date, I'm sorry. It's Monday, uh, I'd be lying to you if I gave you a date, so I'll, I'll, I'll have to refrain in doing that. But as of Monday, this is sold out. Um, I know it sold out really fast the first time, because I couldn't get a hold of it. I tried uh, kind of asking on BSTs if anyone was selling it. Had a few bites, but nothing particularly serious, you know. So I went for the second release, got a hold of it then. And uh, the second release has since sold out. So I don't know if, uh, I don't know if this is going to be available again. I hope it is, because there's obviously a demand for it. No lather goes to waste. So when, when I have lather fly off and it doesn't hit on the floor, it's fair game. <laughs> Five second roll. Still a bit dry. Just a little bit, you know. This lather's going everywhere. It's quite very dense. That's what I like about milk thick. The density. So we're just gonna Gonna put some more water on this brush, and I think kind of after that will be all right. I think I'm kind of at the limits with the amount of water it could take anyway before it starts, before I kill it, so. There we go, beautiful. I think we're okay. Draw the lines here. Really wet, actually. See, this is what is good about milkshake. It's very low structure, very dense. I found it's one of my favorite um, bases for straight razor shaving, actually. Um, it just works really well for that. I quite literally have lather falling off of the brush, so it's quite, it's quite wet. Let's uh, rinse the handle a bit, because it's covered in lather. Uh, we are good to shave. Shut that tap up. So when it comes to using milk steak, I would typically recommend loading it a bit heavier than you, you generally would. I'll do all that, who cares. Okay, Schick injector. The, this is on display, it is on a second use. I really like, so I've used it twice before. I really like how these shave. My criticism, and I understand why they're built the way they are. I wish they were a bit heavier. Um, it feels a little bit flimsy. Yeah, this lather's pretty well hydrated, as you can see. Slick as heck as you would expect from one of these modern soaps. So the, the the shaving angle is pretty much flat against your face. If you're yet to use one of these. I would recommend giving it a try. So I actually think they do a real good job. Very easy. 
No fuss. So there are two types of injector blades. There's ones that are in this, this package. In this white package. But th there are some shit injector, like actual shit branded injector blades, which I much prefer actually. Um, when I had the supply injector, I would typically favor those shit blades over these. I just think they're a bit smoother, a bit more comfortable. But these are definitely good enough to get the job done, you know. Do you like the, the in-between pass slickness is off the charts? It's a very good soap base. Especially when like properly dialed in, it's very good. So that lather up for our second pass here. <laughs> it's a bit like cake frosting. That's what it reminds me of. You ever put frosting on a cake? It's just so dense. It's funny because by the looks of it, it would take more water, but I have enough experience with this to know it won't without losing that structure, you know, that will suffice. Super comfortable. Yeah, this is, these are really good shavers. Like I said, I would love one with a similar shaving experience. That's a little bit heavier. This does feel quite a bit different to um, the supply. Really nice. I actually think I'm done. Like, this kind of rinse off and have a feel around, but I think I'm good. Like I said, I, I really like the way these shave. Way more efficiency than you'd expect, given the pretty low blade fill. Great shame. <laughs> really good. Let's get a bit here. Wow, well, very nice. So 
it down the other. It's a great shaver. Very good shaver. Okay, let's get this soap on the face, from the brush of course, as always. I like to do a little face wash, very similar. Look at that, dude. Look at that, guys. You have no idea how dense that is. That's like cake frosting. Let me get this on the face, wash it off, wash up the gear, and I will see you for the post show. I will see you soon. Hey guys, it is post show time. Let's uh, dry this off a bit. Oh yeah, that feels great. The, the, I, I can tell you, like, you don't need a post shave with milk steak. But we're gonna use one because the scent is really nice. As you can see, kind of in the uh, Noble Otter style, which is a nice touch in my opinion, with the uh, Cerberus logo on the front there. Don't know if you can see that. Let's give it a good shake. This is an alcohol splash, but I've never found uh, Noble Otter's alco alcohol splash to burn particularly too much, so let's get that there. There's no prominent al alcohol smell, which is good. Yes, nice. Very nice. What a show. Fantastic. Let me uh, walk through the stuff. I'll let you guys go. Soap of choice was three way collab between Declaration, Noble Otter. Is that the right way around? Yep, Declaration, Noble Otter, and uh, House of Mammoth. That, that is Cerberus. I would recommend giving it a go if you can get your hands on it. Like I said, as of right now, it's sold out. Um, I really hope they bring it back because the fact that it's selling out means people are obviously enjoying it and I want as many people to enjoy it as possible. So Ben, Cody, Scott, if you're watching, bring it back out, you should. My razor of choice today, as I said, it is on loan to me from my good friend DK down at Shave. If you're not subscribed to DK, look in the uh, channel links below. I always do a channels mentioned when I've spoken about someone, follow him, watch some of his videos. He is a big bear guy and definitely one of us in the community. You can see uh, this razor here, shaves very, very well. I can, there's just no denial there. Like I actually love the way that that injector shaves. Like I said, I wish it was just a smidge heavier, but that's me kind of nitpicking because the actual end result on the shave is very good. I can't deny that. The brush of choice today was my Declaration B6 in the Autumn Glory handle style. Coming into autumn now, so it's quite fitting, I would say. And the post shave I used today was the matching splash with the Noble Otter kind of style logo, which is really cool. And this was Cerberus. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you're new around here and haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I very much appreciate it. Comment down below, do all that jazz. Um, yeah, my name is Jack, your host from the Virtual Room. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful day. And goodbye for now.